Okay, so you may be wondering why there's two uploads of the same film. That's because myself and Dan Jose, the other person who edits for this channel, can't decide which one of us should edit this film. Therefore, we decided Why don't you get ready for bed? And don't forget you've got to cook tonight. I have work to do. And I told you to stop fighting, yet here we are. See? It wasn't that hard, was it? I guess. But you have to cook sometime. I'll tell you what. I'll cook tomorrow and you can go into work for me. How does that sound? Sounds great. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. I would make a brilliant detective. Undoubtedly you would. Now, do you want to talk about what happened at school today? It was Stefan who punched Lisa. Really? Yep, and Mr Davidson said that if he didn't stop, then he wouldn't be able to play scrum in the classroom with us. And did he? No, but I don't understand why I'm the one being told off. All I did was end it. Just because the rest of your class starts rioting doesn't mean you can go crazy and start beating up your classmates. David could be names today. Did you tell him to stop like I told you to? Yes. Did he? What? I did, and then he carried on, so I said you would arrest him. What? We talked about this. You can't just arrest a child just because you don't like the boy. Don't you do anything. What was that, young lady? Nothing. No. What was it, young lady? You never do anything I want to do. What do you want to do? I want to talk about your day. You know we can't talk about my day. Fine, fine. But you know what I've told you? I know. I'll get scared and... I'm not coming in to help you. Exactly. Great. So what happened at work today? <sighs> Do you know what a kidnapper is? <laughs> I need you to look over this case. What's that? Kidnapping. Young boy named Trevor McIntosh, 10 years old. I know Trevor McIntosh. He's in the other class. Small and ginger, right? Did I say Trevor McIntosh? I'm sorry, sweetie. My head is scrambled. It's been a really busy day at work. I must have misspoken. I meant to say Gerald Williamson. Gerald Williamson? Yeah, the kid was out with his friends when they re reported that he ran off to collect a ball uh, from the park downtown. Never came back. Have you spoken to the parents? At length. They were the ones that called it in. They said I should pass it on to my best guy. And that is? You, you daft bugger. Uh, now, can you get on it? If, if you need more contact from the parents, let me I can see if they're available, but last I heard they refused to stay put until they find their boy. Understandable, but why me? How so? I know this, is, uh, this case means a lot to you, and seeing how much you care for her. Thanks, Harv. Should be an easy one for you. I'll get the boys down on the cameras to send you the footage of the place. You might find something there. Well, that must have been easy. A kid going missing in the park, and all you have to do is follow him on the cameras. Five minute job for you, Daddy, right? No, sadly it wasn't. You see, the boy ran out of shot and was seen entering a bush. There's a car park on the other side of the bush. 
but the resolution wasn't as high as I'd hoped. So you couldn't see him? We saw him, but it was from quite far away. He was seen pushing through the bush, but there was a car on the other side and it blocked our view of him. Were there no people around? Plenty, and that would prove more difficult than you would think. Why? Just ask them if they saw Gerald and then they could tell you who took him. I knocked on every door on the witness list, but no one had seen the boy. No one? Not a soul. Did you find him? Hang on, let me get to that. So after I hit a dead end with the witness list, I went to check out the car that was blocking him. Looking back, I don't know why I didn't think about it before. I don't know, George. The resolution on the camera is really low. I doubt I can get a solid read on it if I'm honest. I need you to try, Stacy. If I zoom in, I can get some form of plate read, but is that a C or a Q? Stacy. Sorry. Hang on. I'll send this to Henry in plates. He might know what to do. Sorry I couldn't be more help, George. Well, hurry up, Stacy. A child is missing here. I'll send it over. Hold, and I'll get him to drop everything. For fuck's sake! Daddy! Sorry, let me try again. Oh, come on! No need to be so impatient, George. You know how Stacy likes to chat. Is this really the time? That's what I told her. Someone is missing here. Can we hurry this up, please? All right, all right. I've got a match and a grey Kia. I'll text you the address below. Thank you, Henry. No worries, George. Stay safe out there. So you found Gerald and caught the napper? Uh, I would have. Oh, no. Don't tell me that's what you were doing. Yes. That's right, and I was so close to catching the guy. In fact, if it wasn't for you, I would have been the one to catch him. But, oh no, I was down at the school, cleaning up your mess and apologising to all the other kids. Next time, don't go fighting everyone. I know that now. If you were collecting me, then who was out catching the kidnapper? I got Harvey to make the arrest, after we gathered all the evidence. Fact, he should be searching the guy's place right now. But I've just noticed it's your bedtime, so that's enough stories for one night. Why don't you go upstairs and do your teeth? Okay, Daddy, but promise me you'll be up in a bit. Of course, sweetie. I'll be up after I've washed all these dishes. Hey, Harv. How did it go? We arrested the guy. Turns out you were right. Trevor McIntosh was downstairs, along with a load of other missing kids. Well done. That's incredible. What a superb ending. I wouldn't get so incited about it quickly. It's Trevor. We found him, but... But what? He, he didn't make it, George. Turns out our guy wasn't planning on keeping him for leverage. He's... he's dead. George, there's nothing you could have done. It's my fault. I could have been there. I could have done something. George, the kid was gone before I even gave you the case. You wouldn't have known. She knows him, you know. Elsa? Yes. He was in her school. You told your daughter about the case? I, I changed the kid's name. Harvey, what am I going to do? Well, you always have. Be there for her. Thanks, mate. Take the day if you need. Thank you. Take care of yourself. I'll be here if you need me. Are you ready for bed, sweetie?